Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So as the title would suggest, I'm going to do a little video to show you how I style my hair. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram, there's often quite a few questions um, from people asking what products do I use and how do I style it with that kind of beachy wave. So I thought it would be a good idea to just do um, a bit of a tutorial into how I do it. So as you can see, obviously I've just had a bath and washed my hair. Um, I'm definitely a bath queen. I'm not really fussed on the shower. I like to relax in a bath, have lots of candles about, surprisingly enough. So products in the bath for my hair. Um, at the moment I'm using, and do on and off actually, um, use John Frieda, which is the Sheer Blonde Color Renew. Um, basically, it's that purple shampoo. And these are really good for if you have your hair colored um, and after a while, maybe the fifth or sixth time of having it highlighted, you can tend to get a bit brassy, which looks a bit tatty, I suppose. So I don't use it with every shampoo, but certainly I think through summer, my hair's got a little bit brassy with all the sunshine that we've had and being away, etc. And it just calms down that kind of brassy tone. So I really like that. And then conditioner, they do a uh, sheer blonde go blonder, which seems ironic that I'm kind of toning down the brassy and then refreshing the blonde, but it works well together actually. I'm not hugely brand loyal to be honest on shampoos and conditioners, but certainly when I need a bit of a rescue on the blonde mode, I use those ones, so they're really good. So I will just see what we've got going on under here. Oh, that looks lovely. So brushes, I'd use a combination of a Mason and Pearson brush and this paddle brush. Simply because, one, I'm obsessed with Mason and Pearson brushes because they are so good. Um, no matter what state your hair is in, they seem to make it look really, really glossy. Because obviously I do color my hair, it can get uh, damage to it, etc. So products wise, just to kind of smooth out all those tangles, at the moment I'm using L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil in Cream. Um, as you can see, a well-worn bottle of that there. So I just use a pea-sized amount. And just, I try not to put it on the roots because otherwise your hair will go really greasy. So from where the damage is really, which is about halfway down on mine, and just work it all the way through the ends. I'll brush that through with the pedal brush. And then just to protect it before I blow dry, I, I alternate actually between these two brands. So I've got the GHD Heat Protect Spray, the Toning Guy Heat Protection Mist. Um, I think ultimately they probably do the same job, controls and protects hair against heat damage from regular blow drying. Yes, that's me, so I need to do a bit of that. Now about a year ago, um, I got bought for Christmas uh, the GHD hair dryer, um, which was a bit of a revelation for me because before that, I had somehow got into a habit of using this pathetic looking hair dryer that was a, essentially a travel hair dryer. Not a brand at all, not anything super duper about it whatsoever, but you know what it's like, you get in that kind of habit of using something that was truly rubbish and I couldn't, I couldn't stop. I didn't want to switch to a different hair dryer. So then when I got bought this one, it was a bit of a revelation. It was a bit of a revelation because I'm kind of going, wow, it doesn't take an hour to dry my hair and my hair's not quite so damaged. So let's just do a bit of that. So when I've dried it off just a little bit like this, I'll take the whole fringe section and really curl that under, pulling it directly to the front. And by sort of blow drying it forward, when you separate it out and flick it back, it does a bit of a nicer shape that way. So I'll show you what I'm waffling on about. So at this stage, when I've just got the fringe dry, I've just got that sweep going on, that is when I do a bit of a parting. So obviously, as you can see, this is all still a bit wet. So nothing too technical, to be honest. Um, kind of where it wants to go naturally, I'll leave that first bit. Otherwise, if you try and force it to do something else, it, it doesn't like you. So we'll just do a bit of, bit of a zigzaggy thing going on there. 
but not neat. I think you want it a bit messy, otherwise it's gonna um, look too staged and too perfect. We don't want perfect. Imperfections are cool. So as you can see, it's all nice and blow dried. So at this stage, I would normally use my GHD straighteners, I've got the skinny ones, and just with these sections at the front, the fringe bit, just re-go over it and pull it down in a curl so that it flicks back nicely. And I just use it to sort of flatten down those flyaway bits um, on the roots here. However, um, the trip to Ibiza, which you might have seen on Instagram recently, I've left them in the hotel. I'm really annoyed about. So yeah, I've lost those, I need to buy some more. But because I haven't got my straighteners, I'm going straight to the curling section just to show you what I use and how we do it. Now before I found this curler, I used to use straighteners to curl my hair, so you obviously you get all your sections and use the straighteners, but you tend to get that kink in it, so you get a bit of a stiff line when you use the straighteners. So that was one option. Then I tried a uh, Babble S1, the curls were huge, I looked like some sort of beauty queen. But then I had one from Revlon, I think it was, and it just didn't get hot enough whatsoever. And then my hairdresser um, at Tony Guy told me about the GHD wand, not sponsored at all, wish they would because I use so many of their products. Um, and this is amazing. This creates the perfect beachy wave curl. So if that's the look that you want to get, this is the thing that you need. It's the oval, so you don't want the full barrel kind of curl. You need this kind of shape. I don't know if you can see properly there, because it makes the curl really natural. I have really thick hair. Well, actually, apparently, hairdressers always say it's fine hair, but there's lots of it. So if I don't do it in sections, I tend to miss giant clumps. So I'm just gonna take that bit and pop that out of the way with that lovely clip going on there. So we take a piece like this. Now the important thing is, when you're doing the left hand side of your body, hold it up and over. So you're gonna go around the oval and wind your way down to the bottom. So as you can see, a very springy curl there. And if you think it's just gone a little bit too much, just tug it down a little bit and let it settle. By the time we get over to this side of the hair, they'll have calmed down, we won't look quite so Shirley Temple-ish. So then you just work your way around all your hair, just taking sections as you go. So the opposite side of your head, you wanna go up and over, always so the smallest point of the wand is facing the floor. You can do the curls in different directions if you want it, um, you know, do one backwards, like I've just gone backwards with the hair, or, and then do one forwards, which can sometimes look quite nice, but I tend to do mostly mine wrapping it, going backwards, um, just because I prefer that kind of look. So then I'll take down this big section here. Now these are the sections of your hair that get the most damage because you tend to curl those the most, straighten those bits the most as it's on the top. So try not to leave it as long on these bits if you can. Um, just to protect them a little bit more. So as you've probably gathered, I'm not uh, a natural blonde. This colour under here, this is my natural colour. When I first moved to London and I was modelling with an agency down there, I had a casting for a hair commercial. So I had what these hairdressers call virgin hair, so I'd never been coloured before. All very lovely, light, natural brown colour. So this TV commercial was for a famous hairdresser in America called Sally Hirschberger for a brand called Physique Hair. Now, good luck. If you can find this video, I'd love to see it because I never actually saw the commercial. So please let me know if you ever find it because I'd love to see. Um, so yeah, so I went to this casting, the agency called and they're going, yeah, you got the job. Uh, the deal is you have to dye your hair um, bright blonde and for me being a bit naive and new to that industry was like no I, I like my hair I don't want to be blonde and blah, blah blah and then they told me how much it was for and if you know anything about that industry TV commercials are the big payers you get really good money for TV commercials so they said how much it was and I'm like you know I think blonde hair would be fine I could 
I could live with that. <laughs> So they sent me to a salon in London, which I mentioned before, called Jo Hansford, and she dyed my very virgin brown hair to bright platinum blonde. It wasn't even highlights, it was all over colour, you know, which was a nightmare with your roots, because the minute your roots came through, it sort of showed everything. And then I never went back um, to my natural colour. Oh, I did once, actually. I think after I had my middle child, I had that moment where you think, I need to change something because I was hugely fat and I couldn't change that. Um, I dyed my hair almost black instead, which was a mistake because it looked awful. Right, so we're just working our way around the top section. Not being too particular, we don't want it perfect. Okay, so not much more to do. You have finished all your curling and then what I do is just kind of tease through those curls not too much um, but just to separate them a little bit I do think if you've got something important or you've got a job interview or you've got a date or something do all of this the night before when you wake up in the morning brush it through and then just tease your fingers through that's always the nicest curl is the day after but for the purpose of this video we're going to show you what it looks like that day just finish up with a bit of hairspray. I think I'm using Weller Silver Crin Classic. Not too fussed on hairspray, to be honest, because surely they all do the same job. So just tiny little squirts, rather than doing like a all over the place. Just want tiny little bits, just to hold flyaway bits in place and separate those curls nicely. And then sometimes just put a tiny bit in your hands smooth down those sort of flyaway bits on there. Sometimes I use those uh, sea salt sprays, which I really like. I think Bumble and Bumble uh, do a really nice version and Tony and Guy I've used before as well. And they just, you just kind of spray it through the ends. Try not to put it on the roots because it does make it feel a little bit greasy, but, and it gives you that look like you've literally just stepped out of the sea and you've kind of got a little bit of salt water in your hair and that lovely beachy look. Yeah, that's it. My beachy wave is complete. Um, I hope you like this video um, let us know in the comment section if there's any products that you think I should be using or I should try um, and don't forget to find us on Instagram where we're able to chat a little bit easier because we're on there on a daily basis um, which is at fashion and style edit we'll see you next week